my Loon Spoons. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video, and I'm sorry if you've looked at the title and this is not a subject that you want to engage in, please don't feel the need to watch this video. I really didn't think I would ever touch this, like not with a 10 foot pole, but when Tati James and Charles came out with a statement that basically said, we're not going to talk about it anymore, respect our privacy, just let it go. I kind of had a very visceral reaction and it was anger and I had to figure out why I was so mad by that. And, and I truly think I know why I feel that way and maybe if you feel a little bit betrayed or angry, maybe this is the reason. That's the only reason I'm sharing, um, to maybe help you guys through what you might be feeling. Um, I'm not going to go through what happened. If you don't know who James Charles is, Jeffree Star, or Tati Westbrook, um, watch any one of the million uh, videos on YouTube. But I'm going to give you my rundown from the beginning to the end of what I felt. <clears throat> okay, so, boom. Tati uploads her video by sister, and in it, she does a very good job of explaining why she's upset with James Charles, what kind of behavior she witnessed or was um, a party to, not a party to, but she heard from a third party, um, but she didn't really come out and use specific terms. And when I watched that video, she did it in such a classy way that I felt, I felt her. You know, my son is 20 years old. I'm 39. You can do the math. But I felt her because I felt what she was doing was, as a mother figure in James Charles' life, she was willing to say, I'll be the bad guy. I am willing to be the villain so that I can help you. You're not going to like it, and a lot of people aren't going to like it, but I'm willing to be that for you. And that's what a true parent does, you know? It really is. And that's what I thought was happening. Cut to Jeffree Star. Now, we all know that Jeffree Star is friends with James Charles, or we assume he is, We've seen their interactions. We've seen them on each other's videos. We understand that there are friendships that are just for the sake of the camera. Um, but we, we've, we can tell that they were friendly. So when you come out and you're like, sexual predator, danger to society, we have not no choice, but we're all pretty much going to believe you. You know, you know this person, we don't. You guys always want, everybody wants, don't judge people because you don't know them. You just see what we put up on the internet. You can't judge us. Okay, well, we weren't judging them. Jeffree Star put it out there. So now we're all sitting there, especially those of us who have kids that are that age, right? Those of us who have sons or daughters who are 20 and 21 and 19 years old, and those of us who who understand, you know, now, now we're starting to get really invested because let me tell you something. I know like there's no TGIF in this generation, right? We all sat around and we're like, hell yeah, full house family matters. You know, we had nights of the week that we are ready. We're sitting in front of the TV. You know, we had to fight our brothers and sisters. We had to fight our parents to get that time in front of the TV. They don't have to do that. They watch YouTube. They watch everything online. Even if it's a show that's on TV, they watch through a streaming service. So this is important. The people that our children are watching is important. Even if James Charles has a demographic that's 12 to 14, which he does, which is an important responsibility, it also matters that he's speaking to kids his own age. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you feel me? So at that point, things got real for a lot of us. A lot of us who watch him, I didn't personally watch him, or have kids who watched him. And I was hot. I was really, really, really hot for a second. 
And I will tell you that I, I calmed down a little bit when I had breakfast with my son. My son, who is, you know, he's a dude, he doesn't watch James Charles, he has no interest in makeup, no interest in anything. He really knows about the drama because PewDiePie is talking about it, for real. But he sat down and I really thought that he was going to share my perspective. And he said, Mom, here's my problem. Toddy said, she was a self-professed, a self-professed mother figure. And she knows that the internet is forever. He's like, Mom, even if you didn't grow up in the age of the internet, you were smart enough to teach me that it's forever. And he said, no matter what's happening, the fact that if she was really a parental figure, it should have been done behind closed doors. It shouldn't be on the internet because now, say this is going on in his life. Say he does go seek therapy. Say he does grow up. He understands. He gets medication. This is going to be his life forever. And it really did get in my head. You know, because he's right. I have a different understanding of the internet than he does and luckily he listened to us <laughs> luckily we told him it's forever my man you don't put anything up there that you're not willing to face 10 20 30 40 or 50 years down the line do you feel me and he listened but now there's a woman in her 30s and a man in his 30s who have put this accusation out on the internet forever. Now, here's the problem. Is it an accusation or is it fact? That's the problem. Because now we've circled back to the fact that we let our kids watch these people. We let our kids learn from these people. We let our kids look up to these people. And I don't care. You can come for me and say, just parent your children. Absolutely parent your children. But there are outside forces that you have no control over. There comes a point in time where no matter what you teach your children, they make the decision, the kind of person they're going to be. Believe it. Believe it. And here's the problem. This was brought into the public arena. We deserve answers. We absolutely deserve it. As people who have children, as people who ourselves watch these people, who have nieces and nephews and cousins and people that we love who look up to these, these influencers, we do deserve answers. Here's the problem. We're never going to get them. That's just the long and short of it. We're never going to get these answers. And the reason is, I've worked in law far too long to know that what we want is if James Charles is sexually harassing people, if he's a, a sexual predator, we want Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook to come out with the receipts. We want them to wave them around and say, yup, he's a problem. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen because James has got a lawyer. If you don't think that James Charles has a team of attorneys working for him. You are on a train to somewhere delusional and I just might have to buy a ticket. But he's got a team of lawyers. So we're not going to get that. And if Tati and James were jumping to conclusions, working with partial facts, they're not going to come out and tell that to us either. either because that's admitting liability. That's basically going on record and saying, yep, we slandered somebody. Yep, we made up rumors about somebody. You know, no, we didn't have the facts. No, it was hearsay. So-and-so told me. So-and-so said this. You know, not I watched this happen. Do you see what I'm saying? There's legal issues that are going to, there are legal issues that are going to prevent us from ever knowing what happened. But, this is the reason why we're pissed. I mean, truly, at least for me, I feel like 
I was duped. And I really truly hope that this is not a Shane Dawson series. I really truly hope that this is not a, a, a an expose on cancel culture or, you know, there comes a point where playing with people's emotions, playing with people's fears about what their kids are and aren't watching. I mean, when you start, when you start using that as a weapon or using it as clickbait, that's a problem. And if if people find out that this was all one big gotcha, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I can't see their channel surviving because part of why vlogging is so attractive, part of why you find a YouTuber that you like and you want to know about their life is because when you're genuine, when you're a genuine person, it comes through that, that lens. It truly does. We're looking for genuine human to human connections. So what happens is when you feel like you've been played and you've been played on a grand fucking scale, that connection's gone. I just wanted to kind of get on here and tell you why I know I'm upset and let you know that maybe this is why you have a very unsettled feeling about this. Because if James Charles truly is a predator, then they're deciding when we collectively excuse the behavior. You know, we're not going to talk about it. You don't get to talk about it. Bye-bye. You know, you don't get to collectively decide when we move past something just because you opened your mouth and you're sorry about that. And that's what's sitting very, very wrong for us. Just saying. So I know this video was hella weird and hella different, but I know that while I was in a flare, this shit ruled my life. Like I needed to know what was going on. I needed to know what the fuck was happening in YouTube. So it took a lot of my time. It took a lot of my brain cells. It took a lot of my spoons. And because of that, I kind of wanted to call bullshit on what's happening right now. It might be an unpopular opinion, but um, no, I'm not good where things are. I'm really not. So I'm still going to end with pain recognizes pain and I see you and y'all what the fuck. All right, bye.